that in our last video we addressed racism, uh, prejudice, the death of George Floyd, and just all of the, the issues that are wrapped up in that. But since the death of George Floyd, there's been a reaction. And we've seen it all across our nation. Um, we've seen protesting, and we've seen rioting um, as the two primary reactions to it, as well as a lot of conversation among people. But as Christians, as believers, as members here at Cosperville Baptist Church, there's this question of how do we understand what's going on? How do we properly react to it? And so in your opinion, looking at, looking at the sin of George Floyd's death, looking at the reaction of, of protesting and rioting, what is a proper worldview, a proper frame of mind? How do we understand all of this? Yeah, the reaction that I sometimes see is, I don't know how I want to say this, um, it's not helpful from a lot of Christians that I'm seeing this reaction. Um, so let's just set some things straight. George Floyd was murdered. I'm going to say set straight. I mean, again, we don't, that hasn't, the conviction hasn't come, but George Floyd was murdered. It should not have happened. Um, it was a grotesque thing to watch to the degree that, to, to the degree that it was watched. The reaction then is to protest because there is a, an understanding that this is a historic and systemic problem. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. Um, and then the reaction from some people beyond protesting in a peaceful demonstration to try to get reform to something that needs to be reformed, the reaction from some is to riot mm. and to loot and to destroy and even to murder themselves. So we've seen all of that happen. Then the reaction that bothers me from some people who ought to know better, I think, is to... Um, just try to make, there. there's some snarky comments about, you know, whose lives matter and all of this stuff. And I just think all of that is unhelpful. We're in a situation with the death of a man that should not have happened, a historic and systemic problem. People are trying to address it. The problem is that some people in trying to address that have got caught up in this rioting and looting, which is not a helpful response. The reason for that is because they're sinners, right? Mm -hmm. But so am I, and so are you. And so at the, the heart of the human problem is the problem of the human heart. And that's what these people had, just like what this officer had, that just like you and I have, we have to recognize that all of this that's happening is a heart problem. I'm not seeing very many people talking about the heart problem and the solution to the heart problem. I'm hearing people talk about superficial stuff, really. And I'm not saying that stuff doesn't matter. I think we need to have some reform. We need to have some, um, some police reform, some, some judicial system reform. But the heart of the problem is the human heart. And I wish we could hear more from the church on the gospel that addresses the human heart. Yeah, I mean, the natural reaction that you were saying is to fight fire with fire, to fight one sin with more sin, and, and then it just keeps compounding. And um, Ultimately, when you look at the situation, the only one who can cure the issue of sin and to fix all of these problems that we as humans have created um, is Christ himself right and his work on the cross and it's it's through the church as the ones 
he has sent out. Um, it is through us that his name is proclaimed, that he is preached, and and then he works, and he saves, and he redeems, and he cleanses people and, and societies of their sin. Yeah, if you want to fix the problem right now, mm-hmm. right? You're a believer in Jesus Christ. You want to fix this problem right now. First of all, it's a big problem. So I'm talking about contributing towards the fix. But there are two things that you can do. One is, yes, you can work maybe as a career or as a, a steady extracurricular thing. You can work towards social reform on some of these key issues. Get into politics address some of these things. I think that's a good thing Mm -hmm. to do in a peaceable manner. Not the looting, not the rioting. And I think, frankly, the protesting is only people crying out for help. Somebody has to get in there with, start working the nuts and bolts and do that. That's one thing. But as a believer in Jesus Christ, another thing, the primary thing that you can do, should do, we can do, should do, is address the heart of the matter, which is only addressed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. So just like I am a sinner and you are a sinner, but we are saved by grace and released from the bondage to sin, so also must all of these other actors throughout the United States, and the you know the ones we're talking about now are corrupt police officers, we're talking about criminal actors, we're talking about rioters, protesters, looters, that not protesters in, in a peaceful sense, but rioters and looters who are just, just destroying things and murdering people and that's the sin issue among all of us has to be addressed, and that's only addressed through the gospel yeah. of Jesus Christ. So believers can go out and share the gospel clearly, cogently, uh, repeatedly, and passionately, and pray for God to save souls. That'll address the issue. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's just that in, in application or, or to wrap this up. Um, we as believers, we have a choice we can make. We can either continue to compound the issue and create division and and all of these different things, or we can come into a situation that has a lot of sin, has a lot of darkness, and we can be the ones who can speak life into the situation. Uh, We can come in and we can we can say this is the gospel of Christ. This is who he is, this is how we can change you. This this sin issue this thing that's really not, it's not going to be fixed by more sin and, and more compounding and all of these different issues. Here's the solution. We have Christ. And so go out and share this message. Speak life into the situation. Yeah, I, I'm just going to address this real quickly to the, to the audience watching. And I'll link a series about the gospel of Jesus Christ to the end of this video. But um, here's the gospel just real briefly. As, and we're seeing it play out with all of the different characters here, and you see it in your life and my life, and on and on it goes. We're sinners. And that means that we do sinful things because we're sinful creatures. We've fallen in our father, Adam. So we're sinners. Now Jesus Christ came on the sending of God the Father to die for our sins. Because without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. And so as the God-man, he died for the forgiveness of our sins and to free us from the bondage to sin. That bondage is what makes us have no other real reaction except for sinful stuff. And we do that as slaves of sin. But through Jesus Christ, his death, his resurrection, we have freedom from that bondage to sin and that is the solution to this underlying problem is to repent from our sin and believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior. Now there's a whole lot more to that so watch this video series that I'm going to link on here and contact the church if you want to talk to somebody more about the gospel of Jesus Christ but the command to you and to me is to repent and to believe In Jesus Christ, he is the only one who can save us from our sins.